ιδέας, του φωτός, στείλε τις ακτίνες σου και άναψε την ιερή δάδα για τη φιλόξενη πόλη του Παρισιού. We're in ancient Olympia, and behind us is the Temple of Hera, where on Tuesday, the flame will be lit for the Paris Olympic Games. It's done in a very complicated way. Uh, you don't just use a lighter or something. They use a metal mirror, which focuses the sun's rays, and it's a very sunny day, so hopefully it will be on Tuesday too, focuses the sun's rays on a torch. The torch lights, and there you are. They could do it in a more simple way, but the idea is to show the link between the ancient games, which happened here, they started here 2,800 years ago, and the modern games, which were recreated at the end of the 19th century. This used to be holy ground, where normally I wouldn't have been allowed because I'm not completely Greek and it was only for Greek male free citizens um, to come here and watch the games and take part in the games. And they were heard, held in the honour of Zeus, the king of the ancient Greek gods, whose main temple was over that way. And um, they were held every four years. It was considered the most important religious and sporting event in ancient Greece out of quite a few festivals. If you won an Olympic victory, you were treated as a major hero back in your home city. And at that time, Greece was a mass of warring city-states. And um, you usually ended up very rich. However, in theory, all you won for your victory was a crown made of olive branches. And you had the right to erect a statue in your name. The driving force behind the modern Olympic Games was a Frenchman, the Baron Pierre de Coubertin. And in his honour, this monument was set up in 1927. It's just a few hundred metres from the ancient site. And later, when Coubertin died, he had directed that while his body should be buried in Switzerland, where he died, um, his heart should be removed and brought here. And it was inserted in the base of this monument. In the Coubertin's honour, it has been arranged that the first torchbearer who brings the flame newly lit in ancient Olympia comes here um, to mark the connection between the Coubertin and the modern games. From here, it will continue for 11 days through Greece until it's handed over um, in Athens to French authorities, who will carry it in a three-masted ship from the 19th century to Marseille, the port of Marseille, an ancient Greek colony. And from there, it will end up in the main Olympic Stadium in Paris. Now, it's not quite clear exactly how that will be done. Um, in the past, people have done all sorts of remarkable gimmicks. They have beamed the Olympic flame down by satellite, in the case of Montreal in 1976. They've lugged it up to the top of Mount Everest. They've carried it underwater. Um, this time, we shall see. <laughs> 